Hi everyone, welcome. My name is Billy. Today I would like to share with you three dresses that have absolutely no darts in either the bodice or the skirt. This is part five of the no dart dress series. For part one through part four, please check out my videos number 19 through 22. The first dress that I will show you today is this uh, red dress made from a very lightweight, um, really summer um, sort of weight wool crepe. Uh, so here is a close up of the texture. So, uh, so the genesis of this dress is that uh, as you may be aware that uh, January 25th, uh, a little more than a week ago, was Chinese New Year. And I was going to a Chinese New Year networking event hosted by a private wealth uh, management firm here in New York City about 10 days before that. And it was on the Thursday. And um, before, I, when I went to the same networking party, I just wore standard work attire. But since now I know how to you know, make dresses, I thought maybe I would make a bit of an effort and wear something a bit more festive. So I wanted to wear something kind of red because red is considered a lucky color in the Chinese tradition. And I previously made a red dress uh, for sort of the Christmas, New Year's party uh, season. Uh, however, that dress is more of a raspberry red which is not exactly the correct shade for the Chinese red. The Chinese red is a bit more orangey. So that dress probably was not the best choice. And it so happened that I had this fabric in my stash that I purchased uh, over the summer before, the summer of 19. And it has just been sitting there in my stash because I don't know what came over me because this red is quite red for work really. So anyway, so I thought I had the perfect fabric and so at 9.30 on a Saturday, the Saturday before the party on Thursday, I decided to just cut out this dress and made a dress made, and to make a dress for this party. And uh, so funny thing is this is in a way a bit of a case for having a bit of a stash um, at home because if I had decided on a Saturday night to make a dress, then I would normally have to wait uh, for Monday to actually go to the store to buy fabric and I would not have had time to finish the dress before the party on Thursday. So anyway, um, so I went ahead and cut out the fabric uh, for this dress and this dress is identical in all respects to the uh, black wool crepe dress talked about in my video uh, 20. The only difference is I actually lengthened the skirt uh, by about six inches. And I decided to lengthen the skirt because I thought that since, you know, I would not really wear this dress for work, I might as well make it a bit more of a, a, a party dress. And so what I did was I conserved all the fabric towards the skirt length. So I knew there would be no pockets. Um, but also miraculously, I was able to cut out the entire dress out of a yard and a half by about 60 inches of fabric because this wool crepe has no stretch and also is non-directional. And so what I did was I actually cut out the sleeves um, at 90 degrees, you know, so across the grain instead of along the grain. But then since you can't tell anyway, so that was fine. And so, uh, so here is a quick video of this dress. And um, this was taken right before I headed over to that networking party. And overall, I thought it looked nice. Um, so I went and uh, really received uh, quite a few compliments actually. And so that worked out quite well. And here's also another picture uh, of this dress in action at that party. And I have to apologize for the smiley face because obviously you have to respect other people's privacy. One noteworthy part about this outfit um, is the shoes, actually. Um, the shoes originally were red, but since I had no use for red shoes and I had trouble finding a good pair of dark brown pumps, I decided to dye the shoes 
dark uh, brown and so I just looked up some YouTube videos on how to do it properly and then, then I went ahead and did it and it worked out great so I'm very happy about the shoes um, it, it went from red to a bit of a sort of mahogany so somewhere between red and uh, dark brown and I think they look great and it complements the outfit very well so I'm very happy about that one the second dress that I will show you today is this uh, sort of dark brown uh, plaid uh, dress. So again, it's identical in all respects. Um, so the front looks like this, and the back looks like this. And so the noteworthy part about this dress is that I finally figured out how to line up everything. Uh, so the pattern matching, I think, is quite successful. So for example, you can hardly see, you know, the front is actually one center piece and two side pieces because I managed to line up the, uh, the, the pattern. And also it goes around, so it continues on, and then to the back. And so it looks like this. And then the, the top and the bottom, I think overall also works quite well. Um, and uh, so I'm very happy about this. And this fabric is uh, actually incredibly densely woven. So even though it's not particularly thick, it's incredibly warm. And so I'm really very happy about how this dress turned out. And so here's a quick video of this dress. And uh, I thought I would do something a little different uh, over the winter, so I paired this dress with uh, black uh, stockings instead of the standard new uh, stockings that I wear uh, generally. And overall, I think it looks very nice. I'm very happy and uh, it's quite flattering, if I may say, so, uh, so I'm very happy about it. The final dress that I will show you today is this uh, dark uh, gray, also uh, in plaid, but this plaid is not as obvious as the uh, other dark brown dress. And so also the same construction. The only difference is that this one, I made it with a round Peter Pan collar. Um, and also I made a matching belt for it. Uh, so the construction of the belt um, is talked in more detail in my video number 22, part 4 of the series. Um, so I'm very happy about this one. So, uh, so here's a quick video of this dress. And same thing, I also paired it with black pantyhose and a black pair of pumps. And overall, I think it looks quite nice. So I'm very happy about it. So here is the latest installment of the no dark dresses that I made. I hope you have enjoyed uh, watching this video and I hope I will see you soon. Bye bye!